Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson, and welcome back to a new video. I think you'll enjoy this one. It's a Vectinator video, and it's the top five tips for Vectinator on the iPad, or on your iPhone, or iMac. And this isn't a tip, but if you would like to download Vectinator for completely free, either on your iPhone, your iMac, or MacBook, or iPad, then click the link down below, and thank you, Vectinator, for sponsoring this video. The first tip that a lot of people don't know is the duplicate button. This this button is found in your toolbar on the left. So for instance, if I was going to go ahead and duplicate a shape multiple times, I don't want to go and copy and paste it. And because we don't really have a keyboard that we always use with this, if you hit that button, anytime that you move that object, it's going to duplicate it again and again. You can even hold down a finger on the screen whilst you're duplicating and moving it, and it will constrain it to the horizontal or vertical axis. Again, this is great for creating patterns or just quickly duplicating a lot of shapes. Tip number two is the compass. Yes, it's like a navigator on the iPad, but it's at the top left. And this compass lets you know when you've zoomed in where you are in your work and which direction you're facing. Sometimes when we do vector artwork, especially if you're an illustrator, you'll be zooming in quite far into your artwork where you're doing little bits of details. And it's important to know how far you've zoomed in and also which which the direction is that you're facing. If you tap the compass, it will bring you back to the full view of your work in the desired orientation. Tip number three is one that is fairly new and that is creating your own templates. A lot of the time this is used in UX design because you'll be using the same components again and again and again. Vectinator even has iOS components in the app on your templates ready to go from when you first start. So this makes it really easy to start doing UX design on Vectinator. You can make your own templates by creating your own artwork or components is what I like to call them and save them as a template and you can find them at the top right of your iPad. And then from there, you just click and drag the component or the template into your work and it makes it so much easier for UX design. I must admit, it's pretty fun doing it on your iPhone as well, creating a new screen from the iPhone. Amazing. Tip number four is the pen tool. Now I've talked a lot on my channel about the pen tool, but it is very much misunderstood when it comes to Vectinator on the iPad. Of course, on Vectinator Pro, when you're using it on your Mac, it makes it a lot easier because you've got a keyboard and a mouse. But how do you do it on your iPad? Well, when you're pulling out anchor points, you use gestures. So if I wanted to constrain the angle, I'll use two fingers on my other hand, and that will constrain the angle of my handles vertically or horizontally. If I use one finger, it will actually break the handles into two separate handles, basically. So you can change the direction of one handle. And if I use three fingers, it will change the direction of one handle, but constrained horizontally or vertically. If you go to the path function on the top right, you can actually change the style of curve or the style of anchor point that you've got, whether you want it to be just a joint curve or a round curve, you can change that. The last tip that a lot of people are probably aren't using very well, but it is so good to have is auto trace. Auto trace is kind of like image trace for other vector programs where you can take an image that is is not vectorized, put it into the iPad or into Vectinator and click auto trace and it will automatically vectorize the work. Now this doesn't work perfectly because obviously it is just an automatic function, but what it does is it gives you a baseline for where you can work from. And also little fun fact, if you're trying to create a vintage font, it works very well by tracing your hand lettering into Vectinator. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please press that red subscribe button. Also, this video is sponsored by Vectinator also, so make sure you click the links down below. The app is completely free for you. So if you're a designer, someone who wants to get into it or just do something on a different app or maybe on your mobile phone whilst you're at home, then go ahead and click down below and download Vectinator today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.